Good morning. If you'd like to, close your eyes and imagine you're five years old. It's your first day of kindy. You're standing with all the other children waiting to start that long journey through school. Now imagine you're holding a basket and in that basket are all the words you've learned so far. That basket of words is going to be important. You'll need it to communicate and it'll help you learn how to read. Now imagine the child next to you has a similar basket, but your basket is a lot less full and that's going to make things harder for you. Your parents love and care for you just as much as theirs do. So why is your basket less empty? Now open your eyes. What I just asked you to imagine represents reality for lots of children starting school, but especially if they come from less advantaged backgrounds. It's a reality I'd like to help change. Social differences in children's spoken language skills emerge early, even before they turn two. Research suggests that the amount of talk going on at home <coughs> plays a role. Research is focused on children when they're already talking, but for months before a baby will say their first word, they're already clocking up experience, listening to language, and they're building skills that will support their word learning. I'm investigating patterns of family talk from before babies are talking. Emma here is one of 50 children I'm following over time. She's wearing a little vest in, over her clothes. In it is a recorder that's capturing typical days in her life. Software then gives me estimates of how much her family are talking around her and how much they're talking with her. <coughs> what have I found so far? Well, on average, babies from more advantaged households are hearing almost 4,000 more words in a day. That's around one and a half million more words in a year. But what's more important socially is that they're being part of over 100 more little conversations each day. That adds up to around 40,000 more conversations in just a year. Now that the babies are toddlers, I'm measuring their vocabulary to see if all this extra talk is helping. There's a lot about disadvantage that we can't change, but I'm hoping this research, one thing that this research can do, is help children start school with baskets brimming with words. Thank you.